He welcomed children into his business and even sponsored a little league. But we're learning this man is actually a convicted child sex offender and now he is on the run. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live in Thornton and has been digging into the man's past. Tim, he even had a fake name. Yeah, that's right, Brad. The state sex offender registry says he sexually assaulted an 11 year old in 1992 when he was 22. Thornton police didn't know that because he used a fake name when he opened two businesses. Now this one has crime tape around it after police say they discovered his real identity. He was known around town as Raul Castaneda, a 49 year old restaurant owner who opened Shelly's Pancake House about six months ago and Mangia Tuto about two or three weeks ago. Police say last month they started hearing reports that he had been writing bad checks to kitchen supply companies. So they started investigating Castaneda and discovered he was really a sex offender named Carmen Lieto. I mean, it's really, really bad. Joyce Gill says she's gone to Shelly's twice with her young grandkids. And the restaurant even donated to her grandson's Little League. I'd like some closure and clearance as to make sure this never happens again with somebody else. Police say they tried to arrest Lieto about two weeks ago, but officers say due to the bounce checks, he was already hiding and they haven't been able to find him. Now both restaurants are closed and officers say the employees were fooled too. Some are still waiting on paychecks. We never had any reason to delve into his background. It's not something we just do with a business owner. So we never looked into his background. It's disturbing that we opened our hearts for him and he he was a, he was this monster. Officers believe Lieto and his wife left town. Police say the couple has worked with other restaurants in the south suburbs and they may have used others as a front to commit fraud. Lieto has a lengthy criminal history dating back to 1992 that includes convictions of theft, forgery and sexual assault. Something should be in place with the government here when a business comes into the here to make sure that these people are somebody that they could trust. The police chief says this likely will result in stronger background checks for business owners. He also says Lieto was actually able to obtain a temporary liquor license here on the condition that he complete the background check process. But he says Lieto left town before finishing that process. Live in Thornton, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.